Hi, I'm Cyprian Dijkstra. I'm the CEO of DJ Studio. Last week I created the demo mix uh, with DJ Studio and a lot of people asked me how did you make this mix? I'm going to show you the choices I made for making a mix. I use a lot of stems, I use effects, I use a lot of cutting and pasting, I use samples. So there are a lot of ingredients that you can see and that you can get inspiration of in making your own mix. And last but not least, I published this mix on YouTube and YouTube needs video. So I'm also going to show you how I created the shader toy video for my mix. Let's jump into the mix. I use uh, three lanes. I have the sample lanes over here and I have the lanes with the two decks. Well, first trick you see, when I press the escape key, you get the uh, center playhead function. So I use this a lot, but if you uh, do it over here, you see that the first track, and this is a nice trick, you can grab the first track and you can uh, remove it from the zero point. And I wanted to remove it from the zero point so I could get a nice uh, introduction. And have a listen to this introduction. So this is a beautiful vocal. And this vocal is going with some white noise. And then the white noise is fading out. So this is the white noise. And I can give you some more white noise. That's of course too much. And uh, this vocal, how did I get this vocal? Well, over here you see the original track. And I cut it at bar 69. And here is a break. And here is this beautiful, beautiful voice. So what I did, you mark a part of this track. And once you release it, you see that we have stem separation and I can copy the vocal. So I just removed the vocal and copied it down. It needs to get some splitting. And now if we solo this over here, you can also solo with the S button. So now have a listen. So this is the part that I copied, uh, but it sounds too dry. So what I do, I go to the effects. I'll put some reverb in there. And I'll put some echo in there. And if you want, you can bring up the gain a little bit. How cool is this? So now it sounds completely different. So this is how I created this vocal part and have a beautiful introduction and then boom jump into the music. Well, then if we go to the transition in here, you see I skipped a lot of the second track. I just went into the build up and the drop. So if we have a listen over here. So you hear there's a lot going on in here. I'll bring up the filter and you hear a noise in here. This noise, if we go to the transition, you see I use the riser. Uh, you can set different types of risers, it's really cool. So let's say you want to have it in the middle. And it's the white noise riser. Eh? So that's the riser and I simply put it over there. And put it on 50. Oh, oh, sorry, wrong 50, here we go. This 50 and I use some filter effects in here that's all well uh, the next one is more interesting over here you see there's more going on I extended this transition window and again I skipped the long build-up that was in here I use only the last part of the build-up have a listen so this is what's coming in well, they, they glue together perfectly. It's a 10B to a 10B, so it's easy. So a 
everything is in here. And the other track, outgoing track, they glue together. Really nice. Well, this is also interesting, what's happening over here. I have the sample. And this sample, I copied from this track over here. Here, have a listen. Uh, when I solo this track, So what you can do, you can copy this over here, right mouse click and then copy to sample lane. And over here is it on the sample lane now. So let's solo this thing. And uh, if I'll make it one longer, that's easy. You see if you take the bottom side, it is, it is a reference, it's a pointer to the music where you copied it from. So I can have it uh, after start and there is the palm so this and over here so then uh, this is the right audio clip that you want to have And now we have an easy trick to repeat it. Uh, instead of grabbing it on the bottom, you grab it on the header. And now you see I repeat it. And that's exactly what I did over here. And uh, that's a very nice introduction of the new track that's coming. And this track, if you see, yeah, I only used a little part, I didn't use uh, all the way out. So it was just this overlap and a little bit of a quick mix. And in here I used a filter just to spice it up a little bit. Oh yeah, and there is a white noise going out in here. Because you hear, you heard a riser going in and now the riser is leaving. And here's a riser coming in. And what I did over here, if you have had so much energy and then, hey, where's the energy gone? So what I simply did, I grabbed four uh, beats over here, right mouse click, copy drums, and having these drums over here, and repeat the drums, and now it sounds like this. So it's that easy, it's that easy playing with the uh, stems. So here it is. So next thing, uh, over here is also an interesting one. Uh, this, was, this was a really long break. Here, let me show you. If you right mouse click and you say reset all track edits, I uh, cut out a large portion of the track in here. So now you see 61 and I cut this. Well, what you see what I did, I literally copied this track down. So let me remove it and listen to this long break. Well, if you talk about energy and about losing energy, hey, you wanna lose energy? Have a listen to this. Hey, I'm gonna get a beer. I'll be back when the music starts. Come on, the energy is gone. So how you can solve it, you want to layer these two tracks and we have a trick for it. So I simply grab the music in here and mark it about this command L. Command L was right click copy the sample. And now I do the same, oh sorry, I'll do the same, I press shift and my cursor key and now I remove the music to over here, delete. So now you see the music is deleted and now I layered the break and the build up. And let's have a listen. You see, so they're both there.
Well, the, you have the risk that there is too much noise. Let's say if I do it over here, well then you're emphasizing the bass because it's double. It can be too loud. So if you look at your master tab over here, you see I have the gain on minus three. I can bring it to minus two. Uh, oh, by the way, if you press control, you have uh, a very detailed control, you see? So I can do it with one tenth. And if I release the control, it will go boom, big steps. Oh, and I just love to have the ceiling on minus 0 0.2. So you can also click the value and then uh, minus, minus 0 0.2. So there's my ceiling, there's my gain. And you see the limiter is kicking in a little bit. Uh, but it's, there's no distortion. But of course you won't do this because you know a lot about music. So, so. The limiter is kicking in a little bit, but this is fine for me. Then you hear this one is finishing and she starts singing. So that's that. Your mind connect your soul. I switch on the stem so that you can see what's going on. This track open. Connect your mind. Connect. So You're this sorry. vocal Connect. is from the Your next track. Actually, this vocal, let me show you where it comes from. It is this vocal in here. If you solo the top one and switch off these, have a listen. Connect your mind. Connect your soul. Connect your body. So I'd like to already uh, say, hey, this new track is coming. So what you can do when you press the option key or the Alt if you're using Windows, you see the cursor is changing into a hand and I can grab this and floop, here's the focal and I can put it in here. So that's what you saw happening and they're in all black now because I pressed the solo. So here is the focal and then you can uh, trim it the way you want and you can add some effects if you want. So command C, 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 C. So here we are. Uh, a lot of command C, that's a, a big saver. Your soul. And now, your body. Enter the simulation. And I guess here is some white noise again. Your mind. Yes. Connect. So your in soul. here, uh, I, I had to put white noise. So what I did, I simply copied an empty spot of this sample. Command C, V, 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 V. I have my white noise in here. Connect your soul. Connect. And Enter in your here. Connect uh. your mind. Connect uh. your. So you see this. Ah, 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 ah. I simply, I simply copied it and pasted it to have a nice, a nice tail in here. And you see they glue together really good. Next one, uh, yeah, also an easy transition, by the way. So there's not so, so much going on in here. There's a build up. Space. Space. Oh, little hiccup. And let's see, now we come in the interesting part. Here we used stem separation. Well, for stems, by the way, if you click the header, it will zoom. So it's ideally, it's the same button as over here, but this is the zoom. So you can see what you did with stems. And then you have the waveform view and you have the stem view. So you can switch between the two and uh, clicking it again. Here you see the stems. Uh, we also have effects that you can put on top of it or the equalizer. So even if you have stem separation, you can simply say, I'd like to do a bass swap. And here's the bass swap and you can set the bass swap and I'd like to do a crossfade 
and this crossfade has to be like this at 50%. Now, when I want to switch to stems, I select the stems and you see the other automation is grayed out and now I am able to work with these stems in here. Not so much space, so uh, I have a, like this. Well, let me switch off my examples that I did and have a look at the stems. What's going on over here? So I only keep the bass line and the uh, drums. So, so here's the melody, but the melody, it, it would clash with the 9B in here. Too much, too much going on. So by switching off the melody in here, and well, we only hear the melody in here as well because I think we are somewhere in a break, isn't it? Yes, we are in the break. So we're in the, in the build up just before the drop. So this is a nice place to do this trick. And here I'll fade out the bass line and the drums I'll fade out just at the end. Another interesting thing, what I did over here, have a listen to So, I borrowed this vocal from this transition here, have a listen. And you already saw the trick that I do, pressing the option key and floop, and here is the vocal. So this is the way to grab the vocal and it's really nice to introduce the incoming track. And in this incoming track, if you listen to this... So the melody is in there, the vocal is uh, gone. I keep the drums and here we swap, swap the melody. Easy, easy. Next one. Yeah, over here. This is a nice one. I... Oh, there's this. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful vocal. Is this cool or is this cool to create this little mini break with the vocal? It's so easy, it's so easy. Um, well, have a look over here. This is a, a very, very, going from 2B to 11B. So these, these would clash, absolutely. Here, have a listen. simply don't match. So let's grab it and get rid of it. And here I have a little crossfade on the drums. Here. The bass wouldn't fit either because we do have a key clash. So go away bass. playing with the stems it's so cool over here um, again I don't like the brakes they take too much time so I copied parts from this track and this one is literally coming from here well that's how I survive the long brakes making them short and keeping the energy going. Here's Tibet, well it's the same story. You see that I copied the vocal in here.
So you see, playing with stems is really fun. It's taking a lot of time because it's, it's so cool. It's so cool. Oh, have a, have a look on the transition. So you see, the drums are still there. And then we jump to the new drums. Well, this is not a difficult transition. The only thing I transition in here are the, are the melody. So this is the melody. The rest we keep it in place. And here, last but not least, I see I copied the vocal and have a listen. So this is coming in really gently. I do a bass swap. So this is how I made the mix, uh, my music mix is ready, now I need to get it on YouTube. Well getting it on YouTube we have a video tab and when you select the video tab uh, it will open up the visualizers and you see I have a lot of visualizers in here. We do have a little issue so we draw the wrong preview image of the shader toys. But still, it's, it's really cool. So what is the shader toy? Well, if you have a look in here, uh, and we uh, start the mix. Oh, go over here. So here you see the video. And this is an animation of some water. And here at the drop, I'd like to jump to the new shader toy. Let me show you. So over here we go from uh, the water to the dolphin. And there's my dolphin. Okay, so what's going on? This is a shader toy and in shader toys we have best of, uh, popular and music. Those two are from shader toy. There are 35,000 shaders in there. And then you have your favorites. Uh, let's say I'd like to have a look in the music category and I'd like to favorite a few. Well, I uh, can browse through the visualizers in here in the music category. Let's zoom this. And in the music category, everything is synchronized to the music here. You see, you can sync it to the music and you can browse it in here. And by pressing the arrow key, you go to the next one. And if you like a shader toy, you can uh, favorite it and save it for later. So you can have the best and grab them from your favorites. And um, well, it's, it's, it's taking you a lot of time browsing them. Oh, these guys are nice. So now I have these guys and we go into these guys. Another interesting thing with the shaded toys, let's say there is a little and over here I'd like to do another shaded toy. When I double click here, uh, I get a new video and this new video I can now go to my favorites and grab one of the favorites. And uh, that favorite isn't beautiful. so. And now you see uh, going in there. So you have full control over these videos. Well, and what I uh, did, the blue ones are the standard ones. They are used for a transition and you can drag them uh, from the beginning to the end of the transition. You can uh, set them at once and um, you set them in here. You can say apply settings to all tracks. So you select your favorites and do random from the favorites, select all tracks and then they're in here. 
And of course, uh, you can set the spectrum analyzer in here. Here, have a look. There's a spectrum analyzer. Uh, I can set a white one or a colored one. I can do something with uh, uh, centered. Uh, you see the spectrum analyzer and you see the album art in the middle and you have the shaded toy in the background. So you can do cool stuff with these videos. And if you uh, look over here, for example, I have some shaded toys and th this is very happy music so what I did here at the transition exactly on the drop and here we go <laughs> oh my God. it's such a happy video and then here at the break of course I cut a big part of the break And then the drop comes again, the happy drop. And here we go again. <laughs> so it's enjoyable making, making these animations. So, so that's what I did for the, for the shaded toys and for the video. And well, once your mix is completely uh, ready and finished and you looked at your master and you see that you don't have any issues with the volume, uh, I export the mix. I'll export it to YouTube and I'll put it on uh, 4K. And there is this gain, it's not necessary anymore because we have the limiter already. Uh, I can export my description in here, uh, export facey. Here's the facey description. Well, here's the exact description of the tracks being used. And these timestamps, you need them for YouTube when you upload your video. And have a look at the video. So this is the uploaded video. In the uploaded video, I have my track list in here. And uh, by pasting this track list, you get an automatic index. Uh, unless show more, you need to uh, say allow automatic chapters and key moments. If you check this box, then YouTube will add chapters. Here, this is how it looks. So, here's the same uh, water video. As you have seen, but you also see there is an index and there is an index of the tracks in there. So, here is the index time and here you see the automatic chapters. And view all, so now you can jump uh, to uh, any track directly. So this is how you make the video visualization. Another thing people ask is uh, how about uh, the copyright? Well, the copyright issues can be in here. If you look at copyright, uh, Google has a uh, content ID. So they check who is the owner of the content that you used. So they found the tracks that I have in here. They found all tracks. But there are two uh, blockers. The simulation is a blocker and the third one is a blocker. And it says the video cannot be monetized because UMG uh, is blocking the content in Belarus and Russia. So if you uh, are okay that it's not being shown in Belarus and Russia, then you are ready to go and you can share your DJ mix on YouTube. Well, I hope this explains how I make my DJ mixes and I hope you will have as much fun with it as I do. Thank you.